Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't go away. Um, I was gonna talk about this uh, chapter here for Finn. The, the uh, cover image he actually is a painting that he mentions in this chapter. Um, except he doesn't. He he puts the label for that painting in the book, but it's a picture of rocks. <laughs> okay, so. This chapter here, the uh, evolution of my art opinion, or the evolution of Forrest Fenn's art opinion. And he starts out, with, you know, the Nikolai Fetchin stuff. Yeah, it's uh, Nikolai Fetchin paint that I guess he paid $7,500 for it and sold it for $15,000. Um, and then, uh, so I looked up some of the Nikolai Fetchin. The right page. Was still on the doo -doo 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 -doo. there, so uh, I was looking up some of Nikolai Fetchin's paintings and, and stuff. So I thought I'd show some of them, you know. Uh, is that him? Maybe self-portrait. Yep, that's a uh, Nikolai Fetchin then. So, zoom in for him. So, that's uh, Nikolai Fetchin, who he's talking about. The artist who he's painted himself. Okay. And, wow, that's bizarre. It's like a birthday party gone wrong. <laughs> um, zoom back out a little bit. There. Um, yeah. How you doing, Steve? H. Bird. Ollie, I guess it is, right? Um, so these are some of Fetchin's paintings. It must be him there. You look a little like Abe Lincoln, huh? <laughs> Yeah, um, some of his uh, drawings, I guess. He starts out, you know, you know, that was a work of art. You know, he didn't really get. Uh, he didn't know the difference between modern art and abstract art. You know, he, he and he was talking about that, and. Then in in the book, let's see. I need to get the book up here. <laughs> in the book, we go in the book, and he shows this, and he says it's uh, Pablo Picasso's Le Demure, sure, you know. But look, see, see, it's a bunch of of stone figures there. You know, like I've found a bunch of stone figures. It's a substitute. But if you look at this, and I'll show you the the Pablo Picasso drawing. Is, uh, that's not... <laughs> so the actual Pablo Picasso drawing, Le Diffuse, is this. And I guess there's some variations of it, uh, like this. Let's see. Come on, I clicked on that one there. See, there's another variation of it or something. And this is different coloring. Or maybe it's just crop different, same painting. Uh, you know, people copy it. Um, but the one in the book is abstract in stone. Um, yeah, probably in the area th through September and then, uh, there's another 
black and white rendition. And another rendition, you, you know? So there's all kinds of different images of that. Uh, and, and, and you see, I, I, that's why I search for the, the title he has in the book. And yet in the book, it's this version. Okay, now I found stone mammoths and people carved in stone just like that, right? But, oh, now I got to find that page again. Um, he goes on to talk about abstract artists. I'm waiting for uh, some friends to show up. <laughs> Two. So, uh, um, yeah, he goes on to talk about uh, Wesley, Wesley uh, Kinesi, uh, Kandinsky. Uh, you have, you can have that guy. I couldn't even understand the definition of what he was doing. His work found no home in my affection. So, which is new and old in my soul. Yeah, yeah it's right here. There's, treasure's been lost here for 250 years. There's been treasure here. And, and there's been, the, the artifacts have been here for 13,000 years. So, <laughs> um, so he's talking about Wesley, right? Wesley. Uh, and so I got his art up on here. So this is the stuff that he says, uh, to, you know, this uh, abstract, he's talking about abstract art. Uh, you can have that guy. I couldn't even understand the definition of what he was doing. His work found no home in my affections. <laughs> Modern art is usually associated with with art in which the transitions of the past have been thrown aside in a spirit of ex experimentation. This taken directly from Wikipedia. Uh, abstract art uses visual language as shape, form, color, and line to create Compositions which may exist with a degree of independence from visual references in the world. Okay, what have I found? I, 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 well, you know, this stuff, it, it, you know, uh, it's a, it, what I found is independent from, uh, <laughs> from visual references in the world, kind of, you, you know? It's it, you're seeing stuff that uh, like some of these paintings. You, know? you don't know what's what's in there. You know, I can blow it up bigger on my phone than it is on the computer. Uh, there's a hand. Oh, that's the hand of the computer. Um, <laughs> but it looks like like a guitar in here. Maybe some drums. I don't know. Uh, you know what? You, you, oh, you see a face over here. See, there's a, a red hat and a yellow orange carrot nose, you know? So uh, you find stuff in abstract art. And this is an artist that Fenn is talking about, you know? And and, and then Fenn goes on that he... Uh, he, he goes on about... Uh, well, that was a little better, but the beauty of Pablo Picasso's Le Fure, that, that's the one with the nudie on it, um, uh, Herbe was, was beyond the reach of my imagination. And, and, and then he's still talking, you know, then in his book when he talks about Le de Fleur, he's, he's showing this this uh, little Stonehenge like uh, Le de Fleur, you know, not, not the Pablo Picasso one. <laughs> so and he shows this abstract art over here. 
Oh, is that that one he had in the gallery? The Waisley. Oh, that's. So th this is his example of Waisley, but but uh, see his art was well, he he did have some stuff that wasn't so so abstract like this and here, you know. That's not so abstract yeah, as obviously uh, people on a, a walk in a park or something. And, and, you know, there's just a lot of abstract on that guy. Uh, you see, it's the stuff on the fringes. The... Uh, uh, not part of most some people's reality, you know. This is it's surreal. It's uh, not really like this. Uh, you see shapes and things in these that you know you 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 get an impression in your mind of what what is there, what it's trying to depict, or what you can turn it into with your imagination. And he talks about touching George Washington's nose and, and going into, basically going into his imagination. Or, or, you know, close your eyes. Oh, we saw that picture. Um, just close your eyes and, uh, you, you know, or touch that arrowhead and he'd, he'd think about the person chipping away at it, what they were doing, you know, while they were sitting there chipping away, you know. Yeah. So this is all Wesley uh, Kandinsky. Okay. Go back over to switch over to the. <laughs> um, and, and then the next. He goes. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, five years. So yeah, he sold the gallery and stuff. And there was this Andy Warhol. Uh, it's a fake Andy Warhol. He figured he can get some money in uh, New York. Picture of a crushed Coke can. Uh, I, I, you, you know, if you're famous, you can turn trash into art and make a lot of money. <laughs> like Andy Warhol, you know. Uh Yeah, so he, he, you know, he says he went from knowing everybody in the art business, and he had a no no compete clause in in the in when he left, and so he he wasn't allowed to sell art or deal in art or anything like that for five years after he sold the the gallery, and, and you know, kind of kind of drove him crazy because he 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 wanted to go buy stuff and make some money on it. <laughs> <laughs> so how he knew how to make some money, you know. Um, hope they paid him good for it. <laughs> um, so he goes, yeah, the, about the, the that Pablo Picasso thing. And, and, and he calls it, you know, the painting of the people in the park, and, and then and then shows a picture of a stone representation of it and, and calls it the Warhol Pete on some of his paint for, for geez. <laughs> you know, you got to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> As I, got, I, I watched it, you know, I like Salvador Dali's <laughs> paintings and stuff but i watched a documentary on him and my god he was a freak people he, I, I i guess he you know he, he'd be uh have his hand in his pocket and he'd be jerking off in his pants and stuff i said gee you know so some some of these artists you, you don't want to know <laughs> you know but um uh, yeah, you don't act like that in public. 
You draw a line. There you don't go there. <laughs> where where do you draw the line? Some yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he felt isolated from not being uh, in the business for five years, and uh, so in two, I guess he was out of the business. And he commissioned Ro Rosetta Santiago, the a uh, she from Santa Fe. Artist in Santa Fe, and it's from Google search. These are, yes, this is her, and some of her paintings and stuff. Um, uh, um, oh, jeez. Yeah. There we go. Now that's a photograph, looks like. Maybe it's a painting. Maybe she painted painted Indians, natives. And what did he say? At the end of this chapter, he says, uh, with the value of good art appreciating like it is today, maybe I'll I'll start saving my money to buy another one of Rosetta's paintings. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess this is her. Yeah. Hey, hey, Rosetta, if you're watching, uh. Yeah, do a portrait of Forrest Van and send it to him, okay? <laughs> He's advertising for you in his book. <laughs> okay. I asked one uh, one uh, professor at the university, I, I said, Forrest would like his honorary degree. I, I, you know, I think he'd be happy with anything in 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 archaeology or anthropology or, you know, um, uh oh, well, oh, that's just my computer. I, I I've got to uh, put my computer to sleep here because I don't have. I'm running on uh, batteries. And I haven't run my generator for about three hours, and, and so the computer's now going dead, and, and I got to start my generator and run it for two or three hours. I got I got a little hundred dollar two stroke. You got to mix old oil and get, you know the because my RV generator it, it don't it, it goes clank clank clank, and that doesn't sound good to me. I've replaced electronics on it and I don't I know I know big engines but I don't know small engines <laughs> and oh so yeah right after that chapter coming up after that was one of the chapters after that was uh, freedom or where to go <laughs> yeah, and he he's got these uh these little wooden figures. I'll show you that anyhow. But this one here resembles the lumberjack with his foot on the stump, doesn't it? See the knee. It resembles the lumberjack with his foot on the stump. And I found a rock formation that looks like that. And it's looking up, and there's a bird and a bird nest above it. And it's right underneath where, where it says fan, and there's a fish on the rock. Fish with two fish hooks. And... Yeah, when the computer said it was going dead, I was panicked. That's not my phone, though. So... I think I showed everybody this thing I put on the back of the RV. I'm waiting for the uh, 
<laughs> observers to come by. <laughs> We're gonna make may make some good videos. The uh here's my share for the day, the chapter Golden Moore about about South Colorado. Oh, are they here? <laughs> I'm, I'm live streaming. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they're here. <laughs> A couple of fanners. <laughs> Jack uh, ate my shoestrings. I got him some toys. Hey, Bill, what's up? How you hey, I'm, I'm live. If you want to. Oh, hey. You, you want to say I hi? You, I got you a present from Santa Fe when we were moving out of Santa Fe. <laughs> Am I in there? No, I don't, I don't know. know. We I don't think it. so. <laughs> they don't know me. I, I, I'm banned in Santa Fe. <laughs> I, I think the police might stop me when I get there. <laughs> and turn me over to the, the gypsies. Yeah. <laughs> the planet of the apes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. This is Jessica. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Jason. Matt, <laughs> Matt, yeah. Matt, Matt. Yep. There's a lot of Jasons out there. Sweetie. How you doing, sweetie? <laughs> so good to see you. Hi, honey. Well, we just I thought that paper toys. was cool. Yeah. I, I don't know what it said on the inside. Yeah. It's probably not worth Legend of Fens Gold. There you go. So, uh, be sure to get one of these when you're in Santa Fe. Oh, no. That was from like two months ago. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We, that's that wow. was when we were moving. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this is two months old. Uh, what's Limited the date? Limited edition, so you probably got one of a uh, thousand that were printed. Yeah. Julianne Grimm, fourth man opens up about history hoaxes and his hidden treasure. So, uh, and maybe we'll share some, uh, we'll, we'll do a, another video about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, we'll visit, 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 with, visit with these guys and... Uh, and uh, get back to everybody later. Have a good one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>